February is Library Lovers Month, and while most people may think of libraries in terms of events for kids, there's a lot to love for adults, too. Lisa Lockhart joins us from the Rock Island Public Library now. Uh, Lisa, welcome. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. There's a lot to talk about. Um, I love the topic that we're hitting on today um, because it can be very difficult to make social connections as an adult. Um, many adults know that. Sometimes you kind of find yourself in a lonely spot for one reason or another. It could be the loss of a spouse. It could be that you've just moved to a new location. It's just harder to make friends. It sure is. Yeah. And, you know, libraries are great for that mm -hmm. because we're a neutral community space and it's an opportunity to get together and meet people who share your interests already. Absolutely. So, great social connector. Yeah, it's a safe space. Uh, you can maybe pick up something that you didn't know that you like to do uh, before. Maybe you like to do that now. Uh, so, we want to talk about some of the um, activities and the events that the public library has to offer. Uh, one of them involves knitting. That's right. We have a monthly knitting circle that meets at our downtown library on the third Monday of every month okay. from 2 to 4 p.m. And, you know, it's a great way to explore that common interest to meet other crafters who share that interest. Uh, you can bring a project to work on that you've already started. Oh, nice. And maybe that's motivation to finish the project. <laughs> um, or you could start a new project on site with, we have patterns and books and uh, knitting needles and crochet hooks and yeah. yarn. And so everything you need, really. Well, I have to say, Lisa, you started unpacking all this stuff. Um, when you got here and started setting up the table, and all of this is very foreign to me. <laughs> uh, so if there's somebody like me who has zero experience um, in knitting, doesn't know what they're doing, will there be somebody there, maybe a friend, that could kind of get you started or show you how? You know, crafters are great about yeah. sharing their interest and their love of their craft. <coughs> and you know, so I think if you get <coughs> stuck, that's a great way to kind of <coughs> maybe start or <coughs> learn what you need. Excuse me. We actually check out knitting needles and crochet hooks in our library of things. Oh, wow. So no financial outcome required. Yeah. Yeah. Th that's exciting. You also have a history series starting up. Yeah, that's starting next week, too. Mm. It's Tuesday, <laughs> and it is on the history of the Rock Island Lines Railroad. And we know there's a lot of train fans in our area. I mean, Rock <laughs> Island City, Rock Island Lines, it's kind of a, a natural. And so once a month, we'll be showing a, a couple of different video documentaries on the history of the railroad, some different aspect of it. We hope some people who maybe worked for the railroad or had family who worked on the railroad might show up. Oh, absolutely, because there's got to be so many people that live in and around the Quad Cities that have stories to share. Oh, and yeah, we absolutely want to hear them and learn of those memories. And this is going to be going on for quite some time. You mentioned all the way through August. Yeah, February through August, once a month at our downtown library. Very exciting stuff. Um, so that's a new series that you guys have starting up. We want to talk about book clubs, libraries, book clubs often go hand in hand, but you guys actually have a, a few different options for book clubs. Yeah, we have book clubs at each of our three locations. So that's the downtown library, the Watts Midtown branch, and our Southwest branch. Okay. And those are different times. But you know, not everybody can make a weekday book sure. club. It's so tough. we have started a new thing. It's called the Coffee Break Book Club. Yeah. And it is on, held on a Saturday afternoon at Theo's Java Cafe. Yeah. So coffee, tea, Books, they all just kind of go together. They really do. And I love that you guys are kind of making this happen for folks, um, you know, on a Saturday because, like you said, it can be super difficult during the work week. I mean, I get off work at 6 30 at night, so sometimes you can't make that stuff work out. Uh, this is actually going to be an upcoming book that we just showed on camera that they're going to be reading in one of the book clubs. Yeah, they're reading that in April. It's kind of a sci fi, futuristic time travel piece. In March, we are uh, reading Gin Patrol on the Purple Line. And all of these books are really not a little different than you might find in okay. a, another book club. They're new authors. They have had a lot of critical acclaim, a lot of buzz. Um, yeah. And so it's an opportunity for people to explore that book. I thought that was interesting because you did kind of um, make that Saturday book club kind of more of an emerging art, uh, author's book club. Absolutely. Which is, which is really cool, just something a little bit different for people to experience. So many things happening at the Rock Island Public Library, and it's all for adults. It's also you can get out there, make connections, learn something new, or meet new people. 
Uh, of course, you can always find out about what's going on at the Rock Island Public Library just by heading to their website. That's rockislandlibrary.org. Uh, Lisa, thank you so much for being here today and suffering through my little coughing fit. <laughs> I really appreciate that you have the ability to carry the segment on your own. <laughs> thank you so much, nonetheless, for being here. Thank you. Yeah.